Well, good morning, boys and girls. It's a super cold morning, and I'm so thankful that we have warm houses to stay in when it's super cold like this. I think Duke's pretty happy to have a warm house too. Well, our story today is about a time when Jesus was walking around the country of Samaria, and he was in a town called Sychar, and he went to sit down by a well because he was thirsty. But there was just one problem. Jesus didn't have a cup. He didn't have a jug. He didn't have a pail. He didn't have anything to put the water in. Well, he saw a stranger coming to the well, and the stranger had a jar. Problem solved. Jesus made friends with the stranger, and he got a drink, and he shared something with her that was amazing. And so Sarah is going to tell us about Jesus and the stranger now. I'm going to answer some questions of the story today. Who are the people in today's story? A Samaritan woman and Jesus. Was the Samaritan woman surprised when Jesus talked to her? Yes. Why was the Samaritan woman surprised that Jesus talked to her? Because people didn't like the Samaritan people. What did Jesus ask the Samaritan woman to do for him? To give him water. And did the Samaritan woman give him water? Yes. What did Jesus tell the Samaritan woman that he could give her? Living water. And where is Jesus going to get that living water? From... Is Jesus the living water? Yes! And what is the living water going to fill us up with? Is it going to fill us up with sadness? No! Is it going to fill us up with love? Mm, Yes! (laughs) Specifically, whose love? God's love! And when the Samaritan woman found out that Jesus was the Messiah, what did she do? She got surprised. And then after she was surprised, did she go tell everybody in the town? Yes. Do we love Jesus? Yes. Does Jesus love us? Yes. How much? 160 million. 160 million? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of love. Do you have anything left to say to everybody? Jesus loves you. Bye, everybody. Hello everybody! Today we are going to make some wells from our story out of a toilet paper tubes. We will need a toilet paper or two, scissors, two popsicle sticks, some tape, two pieces of paper, and markers. First, we're going to measure how much paper we will need for the height of our well. Then, you will draw a line connecting all of the dots. Next, you can design the pattern that you want. We're going to be doing a stone brick for our well. To do that, we just colored it in with a gray marker and then drew circles with a black marker over top. Next, you're going to cut it out and tape it onto your toilet paper tube. This is what it should look like. Next, you're going to take your popsicle stick and cut it in half. Then you can tape them onto the inside of the toilet paper tube. Make sure they are across from each other. Next, you're going to cut out a piece of paper for the top of our well. Just draw a rectangle the size that you want and fold it in half. 
Now you're going to write the verse on it. The verse we're going to write is John 4, 14. The verse is on the side of the screen. That's what they should look like. I hope you have lots of fun using this craft. Well, thank you very much, Molly. That was awesome. And Sarah, thank you for the incredible story today. That story is so amazing. The woman gives Jesus water. There she is, the woman at the well. She gives Jesus some water, but Jesus gives her God's love. That's a pretty good deal. After Jesus told the woman that he was the Messiah, well, she got so excited, she ran back to her town and she told everybody she saw that the Messiah had come to Samaria. To Sychar, her city, Sychar. Jesus was there and he stayed there for a couple days and told the people about God's love. Well, the Bible says that many believed and so they listened to what Jesus said, and they believed in God too. Jesus showed the people God's love. Well, Jesus loves everybody. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you live. It doesn't matter how old you are, or if you're a boy, or if you're a girl. Jesus loves everybody, and he loves you very much. Well, the Bible tells us in 1 John 4, and verse 10, it says, Here is what love is. It's not that we loved God. It's that he loved us and sent his son to give his life to pay for our sins. Well, this is what love is. Jesus died for us. God loves us. And this book tells us all about his love. Now that's a cool fact. God loves us. Jesus loves me. Well, you can say that with me today. Jesus loves me. Let's say it again. Jesus loves me. Thank you, God, for your love. Before we go, let's bow our heads and close our eyes and let's pray. Thank you, God, that you love me. Thank you, God, that you love every person in the world, that Jesus died for our sins, and that shows us how much you love us. Thank you, God, for loving us. Thank you, God, for everything that you do for us. And we just want to say, we love you too. We love you, Jesus, and thank you. In Jesus' name we pray, and everybody said, amen. Bye, boys and girls. See you next week.